Hi, I've been thinking a lot about brokenness recently, woundedness, and thinking very much that brokenness, those sacred wounds inside of us, are not antithetical, are not in opposition to our strength and our power, but are co-conspirators. That in fact, in owning our brokenness, in owning our vulnerability, we actually gain in authenticity and strength. You know, a few months ago, um, under all kinds of pressure from many different sources, I suffered a series of panic attacks. Um, panic attacks aren't anything that I would wish even on my worst enemies. Um, it's like a total body takeover. Um, I literally, the world spun around me. I felt the strength leeching out of my body into the ground. I couldn't stand up and I was trapped in this small, quiet, sort of cut off space inside my head. And these panic attacks went on for a period of about two and a half to three weeks. Um, and they were devastating. Um, but they were also the most profound gift to me. I literally feel as though I went through a death and rebirth initiation. That I had to really look coming out of that series of devastating episodes which took me to the emergency room more times than I care to mention um, with a deep appreciation not only that I'm alive but that I have to do things differently that I will always be this passionate um, for my own personal work somewhat ambitious no fully ambitious woman but I cannot cannot put myself under the kinds of stresses and strains that this very self-willed person has done over the years. And so it was a great, great gift. Um, in my book, A Wild Soul Woman, I look at extraordinary women like Simone Biles, like Naomi Osaka, who admitted to the pressure that they were under and said no more. You know, we cannot tolerate this. I am stepping back. I am stepping down. I'm going to name what's happening to me. And in their vulnerability, they gave women strength and courage to name. Enough is enough. You know, why are we putting ourselves through all this? So this is rather leading up to a poem that I want to share with you by a poetry therapy colleague, Perry J. Longo, um, that is really a beautiful poem to usher in the new year. And I think it speaks to that, um, the beauty of the brokenness um, in very, very powerful ways. This year, like any other, ends with its ups and downs like trees some broken limbs, some things held together with tape and glue. Yet if we keep unwrapping, there is the gift shining in its nest of paper and sturdy words that hold us up, touching innocence and old strength and love, always love with its soft ways winging toward our wish for peace everywhere. And I see all the broken limbs around me of the trees here and know that in their brokenness, they become a harbor for beetles and nests and all manner of beings. And as they decompose in their undoing becomes the becoming of a whole other range of life. So that's, I think, something that I'm gonna take into the new year. It's if I can own my broken places, what, what is possible? And just to give you a little writing prompt at the end of this, 
there is the gift shining. Just as you think about what it would be if you really owned your vulnerability, there is the gift shining. What would that gift be to you? For me, I think it's been a deep sense of peace and a lessening of pressure and huge gratitude just to be here in this world now. So there is the gift shining. Please write a poem springboarding from that and share it down below. Um, I, for one, would certainly like to read it.